Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started with today's show, I have a special treat for you. We have a live recording gospel artist in the studio. Sister Priscilla Woodson is going to be singing two great songs for us today. The first one is Bittersweet, so don't go anywhere or you're going to miss it as we get in step with Nicole. From what my eyes can see Life to me has been bittersweet From the mouth of a little girl Who was just like me Gifted with the gift of sensitivity What in the world was God doing through me? Well Learning how to live through the eyes of a child It's been a long time coming, but I just can't give up now Life to me has been bittersweet But I count it Is what my daddy did Fighting in foreign lands unknown Like civil wars And my body and soul Daddy told me It's better to give than to receive He taught me so many wonderful lessons That's how I came to believe Gifted with the gift Of sensitivity Doing through me, learning how to live through the eyes of a child. It's been a long time coming. I just can't give up now. Oh, oh. life to me has been bittersweet, but I count it all joy. joy. It's been bitter and sweet. It's been bitter and sweet. Bitter, sweet. Didn't you just love the song that you heard from the beginning of the show from Sister Priscilla Woodson, Bittersweet? Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Nicole Horston, and you're watching Get in Step with Nicole. I had you start today with that beautiful song because I want our audience to know that life has been bittersweet. We've had our good times, our bad times, our happy and sad times, as you alluded to in the song. I tell you, I love your album. Thank you so much. And we're gonna get into her story and you know I cannot leave you without giving you a theme to build our foundation. I give all of the audience members a theme. And it's just simply from, I'm taking a chapter from your book, I Am. 
I am as I am. So our title, our theme for the show today, as I am. And like I said, I, I think of the great I am. Yes. When I say that. And oh my goodness, I'm just excited for you to be here. You are my first live, can I say live? <laughs> Recording artists, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sister Priscilla Woodson is an international recording, gospel recording artist, singer. You're, uh, oh gosh, you have so many facets. I'll let you, because you have so many like titles, and we don't get hung up on titles, but I do want to give you your accolades. So I won't run them, I'll allow you to. So tell <laughs> us who you are and what you do and your titles that you bring to the table. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing this opportunity for me to connect with your audience and to introduce as I am. I am, on a, I am a woman of God. I am a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a nana. <laughs> you know, in, in addition to being a national recording artist and international port, um, um, performing artist. So I'm also a life coach, a pastor, and I write wellness programs. That's what, you know, part of what As I Am is. And I can't wait to share that, you know, with your audience because this is mental health and, and wellness all the way. So there is good news if you're looking for wellness, a new approach. So I'm just so excited to be here on your platform. We might as well go ahead and keep that seat because <laughs> energies can match energies, ladies and gentlemen. And I have a guest who our energies match. And we actually met um, from one of my other guests who was on the show who introduced you to me. And I had the pleasure of having her on my Get In Step radio show. And we just really want to let you know that mental health awareness is 24-7, 365. And we always have it in the forefront of our minds. And this show, as you already know, is about helping people, giving them hope and supporting them in their healing. And so as I am, when you first, you know, we met on the phone and we met in person on the show, but we had a kindred spirit. Yes. And we both, you know, desire, first of all, to live a life that's pleasing to God. And secondly, to help our people. And that means people all over the world with mental issues and to let them know that it's okay to have them. It's okay for days when you're not okay. And then girl, when you look, all I said was go in the conversation, like, <laughs> or tell me. And she was off to the races because she's so, Sister Priscilla, you are so just so passionate about letting people understand how valuable we all are and really how your program helps. And it comes from a place of your own story. So we're gonna start part of your story because the rest I want you to focus on the actual As I Am platform that you also have. So just any part of the story, cause you have an extensive story, we all do, but just take a chapter and get us started with the show today. Well, so I am a native of Miami, Florida and um, I migrated to Columbus, Ohio, um, where I actually met Nicole by way of the armed forces. So I am a veteran because I married a veteran, so therefore um, Columbus, Ohio is my home. So um, in, in Miami, Florida, so um, I had a traumatic childhood. So I come from a pathology of depression, mental illness, um, murder, and suicide. So. Um, it's, this is personal to me because I understand what it means not to be well. So it was critical for me to, to understand me from that aspect. Why me? Why did I have to go through, it, through this? And because it disturbed me to see others like me suffering silently. So I continued to go on to this journey of trying to figure out, okay, how do I deal with this? But you know, back in my day growing up, you know, there were no resources. There was no names for this. You couldn't articulate, and you certainly could not tell anybody that something was wrong. Yes. And, and for me, I knew I was different, if you will, that I was called to do something different, to interrupt, to break down, to build up, to, yes. to, to plant. Mm. And again, I didn't know what that looked like, but the military helped me expose, um, um, be exposed to diversity and inclusion, 
customs, cultures. And what I discovered during that journey was there was more people just like me suffering silently. Yes. Something had to be done. Again, I didn't know what I was doing, but somehow or another, between my relationship with the creator, um, between my relationship and, and trying to discover um, what my pain was all about, you know, why me? Again, back to why me? And, and um, so I just, I, I needed to find myself. So, and I found that by way of doing self help. Because again, there was no resources. Yes. You don't go get counseling. You don't do that, you know. Yeah. And then also then because I was reared in the church, you know, sometimes, you know, we like to say, oh, prayer's going to fix it. Um, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Yes. Unlike the angels, they don't understand that. Right. They've been redeemed. Yes. We have not. So as a result, on the human side, I need just a little bit more than prayer. Because, again, the, the spiritual side and the human side, they already conflicting in that war, and they don't really understand each other. So that's when God told me, you know what? I know this is disturbing for, to you, but it's disturbing for a reason. Because what I want you to do, what I've assigned you to do, is I want you to teach them how to naturalize wellness. Having a conversation, I do that all the time with pastoral counseling, life coaching. Yes. It's great, we can have conversations, but as I am, it's about moving you past the conversation. So the as I am, let me let you know what that means. As I am is oneself, meaning it's you, mm -hmm. you, you, and the I am is God. And they are partners, passion and purpose at work. Girl, watch out there now. Watch out now. I tell you. Watch out there now. Listen, this, this <laughs> firecracker truly is gifted with song, but she's very seriously. I mean, you and I were talking and I'm like, we got to tell the audience that part because she wants you to understand that, you know, a lot of times in churches, in families, we do suffer in silence because, you know, we don't want to bring that, that stigma, that shame. But we're here today, ladies and gentlemen, to break that stigma. And you have actual program workbook as I am. And, you know, when you said that and we learned when I learned about it is not only, you know, the song, it's the actual workbook, the album, you know, but you teach that as I am, you got to understand that you are in this relationship if you will, with Christ being, he's the great I am, Ooh. but through him, I am as I also, as I am, which is the title of today's show, letting you know that you are not your circumstance necessarily so, but you have to, first of all, acknowledge that there is a situation, that there is something that you may need to seek help for, whether it's mental illness or any other problem, just like you go to the doctor, for what ails you physically, you still have to understand that mental health, it, it, it really is one of those things we can no longer suffer in silence over. Yes. Because there's so many more resources. I know I'm the baby, I was born in the 70s, and of course I was under that same umbrella of not discussing what goes on in our house, stays in our house, no ma'am, no sir. We're changing that conversation right now, right here. Because see, what goes on in your life, if you don't reach out for help, it can kill you. And we have so many people that I know personally who have committed suicide because they couldn't take it anymore. And I said, I had to have Sister Priscilla on, not only just to sing to you and make you feel good, you know, because music is therapy. Yes. And that's one of the things I rely on with my therapy. And I tell my audience that I suffer from anxiety. And I tell you, um, after the, the passing of my sister, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. And it's a full-time job. Like, getting through it is a full-time job yes. in and of itself. Yes. And so as I am allows you to go out, you know, into the world, into the marketplace, and, you know, provide that help, the resources, concrete resources. Now, you gave something, if you could quickly tell us, when you said when you're going through a counseling session with you, you're going to work through the workbook, but you're also do, going to do the work. Can you just allude to that to the audience? Yes. And so because I am a life coach and I provide holistic um, counseling mm -hmm. and pastoral counseling, regardless of where the client is, we're going to have the conversation. You're going to sit on the couch. We're going to do all of that. 
But one of the things, again, that God has assigned me to do as far as a spiritual gift is to teach. Yes. So the As I Am workbook, it supports the client in doing the vested work so they are clear on of what they are working on. So one of the approaches that I use um, to support the client in building content, because oftentimes you have a workbook, but the client do does not know how to start. Yes. There are no words. Yes. So one of the approaches I use is a unique identifier called the authenticity of self. Yes. Because this the is, authenticity this, of self is about you being versus announcing. We are part of a culture. You have to announce everything, not as I am, because you're complete and whole because of the great I am. So the authenticity of self, what that does, there's three dimensions to it. There's your powers, your truth, and art of knowing yourself. Now let's your slow that down. Uh-oh. Come on. Yeah, I want them to hear that because there's three facets. Uh, when you work through the program, like you said, we get these workbooks and we go to conferences and we go to meetings. We leave with, with nothing. Mm. Like, you know, we have a workbook, but what does it mean? You know, how do I actually use it to impact my life? So number one, to the authenticity, I had to slow that down uh -huh. myself, of self is first of all, understanding your power. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about power. And then you also have the second part, which is? So the authenticity of self, that's the, the unique identifier that's gonna support you, first of all, in getting in tune with your identity. Okay. Yes. So, and one of those um, things, dimensions that's, on, that's gonna support you in that is your powers. Your powers are your strengths. They are your gifts, your talents, your ideas, your ambitions, your dreams. They support that you have value, wealth, and worth. They support that you're Superman, Superwoman. They also can be a weapon of mass destruction and an ego. Mm. So as a result, I gotta take you to the next step of yourself because we're trying to keep you in balance. Yes. So the truth. The truth is your story. Everybody has a story. So to support you in building content, we start with your humble beginnings. I have an acronym for you. It's called ECRs. Your beginnings start with your environment, your circumstances, your relationships, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. Ooh. What happened? You need to find out what are your triggers? <laughs> is it anxieties? What are your patterns? What's going on? Because you need to be clear on your truth because yes. your truth holds substantial weight because it's all designed to work together for your good. So don't dismiss if your truth is bad because it counts. It counts. counts. The third dimension is the art of knowing yourself. That's your belief system. So here's your powers, mm -hmm. which is ego. Yes. Just in case you need to be reminded, because you do, because we fall. Here's the truth, your story, it brings you back down. The question is, is what do you land on? What is your foundation? Your belief system, whom and what do you believe in? Because they provide principles and concepts that regulate, that holds you accountable to your customs, to your convictions and your beliefs, as well as mm. it gives you a blueprint. So you, again, you don't have to figure out what to do. Yes. It gives you a starting point. Yes. So all three of these things combined together identifies the authenticity of self that allows you to be without announcing. Just show up. Girl, and that's the thing. We want you, ladies and gentlemen, to show up for yourself every day because that is a part of being I am. Yes. I am striving to live healthy, happy, and whole. It may be a struggle at times, but I'm getting up every day, putting one foot in front of the other because I know that the great I am, yes. he favors me. Honey, he, I'm telling you, I take it personal. I take it, I say he favors me. I make it individualistic. Yes, I know there's billions and millions of people on this earth, on this planet, in the world. Yes. But he favors Nicole every morning. I don't know yes. about you, Persister Priscilla, but yes. every time he wakes me up in the morning, I said, Lord, good morning. <laughs> Thank you for Jesus. shining on me again. Yes. Now, I tell you what, my aunt always tells me, no matter what, you give thanks in all things, good, bad, and different. Because someone did not have that experience and wish they did. So you may have a little ache and a little pain in the morning when you get up. Lord, thank you for the pain. Yeah. You know, even when we're talking about the struggle of a mental illness and becoming well, the wellness part of becoming well, don't despise those small, humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. They count. Because they do count. Honey, every day that I don't have an anxious moment because God tells us not to be anxious for anything, in my mind, ladies and gentlemen, I know that God can 
heal that suddenly. He can remove that suddenly. But I also know factually that I still have to do my part. Yes. Because I am, like you said, a human being. So I don't get the two twisted because, yeah, I know that great I am can move like a mighty rushing wind. Yes. And heal me of all manner of illnesses and diseases. But in that, I'm experiencing it. See, I have to give it it. That's yes. what I call it, it. Because mm -hmm. it's all the emotions that we feel. Your it is different. Yes. Your, you know, whatever That's ails the mental you. Part. Exactly. Emotions. Emotions. And your psyche. And I had to learn that God gave us all these emotions, even anger. Because he said to be angry, but sin, sin not. not. So he knew that we would become angry. And so I just wanted just to help the audience today with just not only your beautiful singing, but your beautiful platform that you're going around the world sharing that, you know, it's okay to not be okay, but then you got to do something about it. Yes. And knowing all along that the great I am is you there know. and he yes, has you okay. covered. Yes, He's because I'm telling you, you, we all have that Superman, Superwoman yes. that you allude to, mm -hmm. those experiences as well. But when we come down, like you said, when we come down. The truth's going to bring you back, woo, remind you that girl. you bleed red and blue blood. Mm, I love it. I love it. So, Sister Priscilla, how can we get and, you know, stay in focus with you, contact with you? If you wanted to reach out to become a part of your program, how do we get in contact with you beyond the show today? Well, you can reach me by way of my website at um, PriscillaWoodson.com. So you actually find out uh, about not only As I Am, because As I Am is one of many wellness programs. Um, you can connect with me on Facebook, Priscilla Woodson, LinkedIn, Priscilla Woodson, email PriscillaWoodson at gmail.com. So everything about Priscilla Woodson, you will find it on the website. I, you know, I love that too. And I do the same for myself. Everything is get in step because I want everyone to get in step with their lives. And that means just getting in alignment, what you say with self yes. and your understanding of self and your understanding of God for yourself. I mean, I just want you to get in step. So everything on my social media platforms is just like yours. You know, you have Priscilla Woodson on everything, which is great branding, might I add. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, this is, and she's gonna give us one more song um, here shortly, but I just wanted to show one more time. She's just the creator of the program. This is a chorus. This is her album, her latest project. And you have seven albums. Seven albums, and that's my recorded third book. Recorded albums <laughs> today and your third book. So you have been busy. Yes. You have been a busy sister, but you've been giving out the message. Yes. It's not all because you want to be busy. Mm -mm. You are about the father's business. Yes. And that's what we have to be for such a time as this because people are looking for help. What you say they're in need of a blessing and i'm just thankful that god has lent you out into the marketplace to say you know have you considered this vessel here that's going to give you some sugar and spice yes. and sometimes not things that are really nice which means the truth the truth sometimes truth. is ugly it hurts it hurts but one thing i love about this sister sister priscilla woodson is that you uh bring it in a way that it's understandable mm -hmm. and it's reflective so give us just one word um, in our, we're about to close out so you can sing again. Something that they can take home with them and use right now today in our last second or two. So one of the songs on the album is entitled Grace. And we all talk about grace um, from the faith-based community that is the, it's, it's, um, the, the favor of God. But this particular song, offers you perspective that grace is more than that. It is also a gift. So now it literally shares with you by way of the word of God, other perspectives of what grace is. So you know when the gift shows up. Oh my gosh. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here is Sister Priscilla Woodson and Grace. of God's grace I'm a reflection of him because of God's grace I'm walking in solitude because of his grace bestowed upon me 
because of his grace, there is possibility. Because of his grace, Jesus' truth it came by you. Because of his grace, I learned it's sufficient and enough. Grace and mercy. Because of God's grace, He stood the test of time. Because of His grace, oh, I learned His grace, it justifies. Because of His grace, there's no respect. Person, because of his ways, my life it has reasons. Because of his grace, I found favor in the sight and in your eyes. Because of his grace, oh, I learned his mercies magnify. Mercy, mercy makes in your 